This is tantamount to my insensitivity to people, especially women. I will admit the others when you catch me, if you can. Sign, Freeway Phantom. Between April 1971 and September 1972, six young black girls were snatched off the streets in Washington, D.C. The homicide detectives termed the cases the little girl cases. This child was uh, laying on the side of the road. It appeared that she was probably either dragged out of the car or thrown out of the car. That was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. Hold somebody's hand and they look and they have to identify that child. My brother has never been the same, but none of us are. It took four murders before the police finally realized that one person was responsible. This person must have paid attention to newspaper accounts, and he saw that they were thinking that maybe it's just one person, and he says, "Uh uh-uh, they need to know. They need to know this is me. In a note left on one victim, the killer called himself the Freeway Phantom. The killer believed that he may have been seen. The person said, I murdered your daughter. That guy is, he's out of sync with even the worst people. The FBI spent years investigating the case. I thought that they would catch him. I thought it was just a matter of time. But the Freeway Phantom was never caught. Is it possible that the killer is still alive? We still care, and it still hurts. We just want to know what happened. From Tenderfoot TV, iHeartRadio, and Black Bar Mitzvah, I'm Celeste Headley, and this is Freeway Phantom. The first two episodes drop on May 17th. Listen to Freeway Phantom on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.